What is up guys, Michigan Air Gunner. We are back out at the farm. This time we're switching it up to box. Uh, the hay field is actually back this way. We're gonna be watching a uh, alfalfa type of field next to a corn field that's growing. And we're gonna try it in a tree stand since we have the AEA Zeus 72 cal with a 16 inch barrel. And what we are using are KRS slugs 488 grain they call these Goombas I'll show you why right there <clears throat> but anyway these are going about 860 feet per second with this and then at 4,000 PSI I get two shots the first one is around 860 maybe a little higher a little lower and the next one is about 810. So that's two good shots in the 800 range. We're going to try not to scope ourselves with the ATN, uh, blah, with the Tacticam. And then we have another Tacticam in the front. Uh, not too many scopes. Just thinking, oh yeah, I got the ATN on here. No, I don't. Also, we put a Hawk bandage on here. And it is just, just able to clear that. So, we're going to go up to the tree stand and see if we can't get her done. So all that over there is cornfield. All this over here, like alfalfa and something else that they said that was over here that I can't remember. More cornfield over there. Hay field is back that way. Our tree stand is right in here. Yeah, there's a deer blind, but we're going to use the tree stand. Because if everybody knows, Small windows and a deer blind work great for regular rifles, but not so much for air guns. Just because of how the scope and the tank and everything are set up. So we're going to climb up there and I'll give you a view from what's up there. So here's our view from up in the tree stand. I'm hoping to catch them either walking across the front of the woods or coming up one of these side trails. But either way, wish me luck. Well, oh, guys, we weren't here 10, 15 minutes, and she came running up. And she's been the one I've been seeing out here the last couple of days with no young ones with her. So it was all right to take that one. But, yes, I did check. I was out here the last couple of times, and I've seen it. Same deer, just lone deer hanging out in this one spot. And the farmer said there's a bunch of corn getting ripped up over there. So... I'm gonna give it a few minutes. I'm gonna go over there and check it out. All right, guys, we're out of the stand. I'm gonna go see uh, what we got. I heard it. I heard it hit. I don't know how well I held on camera until I look at it. So hopefully you guys seen some blood or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go check it out, and hopefully she's just over there. That was a big chunk of lead, and she didn't just drop like the other one did. But they are like that. Sometimes they drop right down, sometimes they don't. But I'll flip you over, and we'll see if we can find her. Oh, 
over by that single dead tree is close to where she was. We'll see what type of a hole 72 cal makes. And she was 50 yards. I checked it with my rangefinder. 100%. Good thing this used to be an old logging trail, so it's not too rough getting through here. All right. So, pretty sure she is right about here. Tree stand is over there. And I'm thinking. Nope, we got blood. Blood, 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 blood. Blood. More blood. Blood, blood. A lot of blood. Blood, blood, blood. More blood. More blood. More blood. Blood. More blood, more blood. Blood. Lots of blood. Blood, 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 no, oh. keep you on the blood trail, blood, 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 she was not very nice where she led me, there's more blood, 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 Oh, Jesus. Blood. Blood. And a dead deer. Let's see what we got. Oh. Shot was a little far back than I would have liked. See what the other side looks like. So that is a complete pass through with those little Goombas at 50 yards. I mean, she did not go far, even though that was back. A little further. She is a good sized doe too. There you go guys. Doe down. AEA Zeus. With the 16 inch barrel. I mean even being. A little far off. I mean that thing did a number she did not go far 
so uh yeah i'm in some thick stuff and uh we're gonna get her out of here because she, I mean, she is bubbling out and uh get her taken care of see you guys in a little while morning so what do you guys think of that 72 caliber zeus 16 inch barrel two good shots at 4000 psi and even with the margin of error that we had where the shot was a little further back that deer didn't run 20 yards i mean you cannot complain about that So this is a good time to mention that if you're going out with smaller calibers, less power, and you do have that air, you're probably not going to find that deer or you're going to be walking for miles. That is where bigger is better when it comes to air guns. Some people will use smaller ones. I've done it. I've had great success doing it, but as you can see from the video, not perfect that shot was back and with that biggest slug she did not go 20 yards four hundred and eighty eight grain little goomba guys from KRS slugs Great looking slugs, they did a great job. Um, we had no problem finding the deer. As you can see, there was blood everywhere. These deer are all taken with deer damage tags. So get that out of the way. Some people like it, some people don't like it, but somebody still has to do it. Um, so far, I've put quite a few shots through this with my own slugs that I made and uh, KRS slugs, and I haven't had any issues with it. I probably shot 50, 60 rounds through this thing, just getting it dialed in, playing with it, figuring it out. Um, I do think that my Hawk scope on there can't quite handle the recoil. So, I mean, after every few shots, I seem to be off a little bit, and I think that's why we had the air of shooting a little farther back. So I'm going to try a different scope next time. Uh, I'm sorry that we didn't get a whole lot of deer footage. The cameraman forgot to turn on the front camera. You got to push it twice. And we only turned it on. We didn't hit record. He's fine. Anyway. Uh, yeah, big shout out to Terry Fox. Foxairpower.com for sending this out to us, letting us shoot it, getting some deer down, meat in the freezer, all that fun stuff. Showing you guys exactly what these big guns can do. Uh, this, this gun is one of my new favorite guns just because of how small it is and how much power it is. The 58 is now my new favorite long range gun. And we're gonna be getting that and going out and doing some more stuff with it. We're just waiting for uh, some parts to come in next weekend I'm gonna go out with multiple different slugs from multiple different vendors and try them out in this gun and show you guys I just didn't get them all in the mail in time so I couldn't go out and shoot them and I figured it'd be unfair just to show a couple slugs that I had on hand when I can just wait and show you guys everything but until next time, guys, find out what your air gun can do. Go out, shoot it, try it. Figure out if it's the gun for you. If not, see Terry Fox. Get one of these big-ass guns. And it, you'll be happy with it. So until next time, figure out what your air guns can do, guys.